This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Today, you're going to learn how to easily add payments to your WordPress website. This is great to get up and running super quickly if you don't want to add a complete e-commerce store or WooCommerce shop on your WordPress website. You can get up and running with a simple contact form and payment system. And this is perfect if you're a service provider or if you're a business who you just want to offer a simple product or service from your website, this will work really, really well. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. So if you're ready, let's dive in. You probably already have WP Forms Lite at least installed on your website. It's just a simple to use drag and drop form builder. Contact form is an easy way to get on your website using WP Forms. But for this one, we're actually going to go with their upgraded version. You want to do a pro or higher. So you can go to WP Forms and you want to do forward slash WP beginner to get the best discount on getting WP Forms. You see a little banner up here that tells you that you are in the right place. So go through here, grab a license, and then you can, we can get started. Once you download it locally, we can head back over to our WordPress dashboard and we'll go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for a plugin, like we normally do, we're going to upload the plugin. So you can either choose file and go and find it where you have it because I already have it down here. I can simply left click and drag it up to the choose file location. And you see it's already here. So then we can click install now. Once it's installed, you'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, now that's activated, you can go in here and create your first form. What we're going to do is come over here and this is what you can do anytime you need to come back to WP Forms. We can go to WP Forms and we're going to go to settings want to make sure I add my license key in here. And because I've installed it before, it remembers it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. And then you can verify it, and then you should get a pop-up that says, congratulations, everything's good to go. So you should be good to go with that. Now that we have that, we want to head over to the add-ons. Since it's a payment piece, we want to add an add-on. WP Forms integrates with several payment processors. You have authorize.net, which is super, helpful if you already have a merchant account with them, then you can simply do the add on here. Scrolling down, they also have two other ones that you can get started with. You have the PayPal standard add on if you want to do PayPal. And then you also have the Stripe add on. For this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the Stripe add on. Great. Now that's set to active. We can go back to the settings so we can set up Stripe in the settings. So we can go to payments. And from here, you simply want to connect with your Stripe account. So if you click on that, it'll take you out to Stripe. You should already have an account. If you don't have one, it's super simple to set one up and it takes really very little bit of time, maybe 30 minutes to get everything going. Make sure you connect everything. And since we're creating it for the first time, I also want to put it in test mode because I want to go through the whole process like a potential customer or potential client would do. And so I want to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go through the whole process. And in order to do the test mode, you need to connect your account with, with WP Forms again. And it's just because we're going to be in test mode. We'll click Save Settings. And then we can do that. And then once you're done with that, you can come back in here, uncheck this, and then we'll be in live. And you see when I'm clicking on it, it switches from live to test. So we're going to keep it in test mode. And now we have payments selected. Now we need to create a form and we can give it a name here and you can choose the form down here. They have a billing order form, but then if you also wanted to, you could go in and go to the add-ons page and add the form templates pack add-on. Now I add hundreds of other forms for you to choose from just to get a template that's really close to what you're needing. But for this, we're going to use the billing order form and that will automatically pop up the form for us. And you see, we still need to make sure that we click on the payments tab over here to configure our payment. So we'll do that. Great. Now from here, you can just choose which fields you want to have in here. You can choose your address if you need that. If you're sending a physical item, I'm going to be doing services. So it's going to be digitally sent. So I'm going to remove all of that. So you could either do a multiple choice or you could do a single. Since this is already here, I'm just going to show you what this would look like. The demo website that I have is all about adventure and backpacking. So maybe we'll do 
backpack tour, backpack weekend, and maybe a VIP backpack. And you can show the price after the label. You see how that's looking. And then I like down here the total amount. So once they pick one, it'll give the total amount down here. So you could keep that as well. And then you, you want to have maybe a message from them. That's cool. Let's go back up to fields because we actually need to add the credit card information. And so these are all the payment fields that you can choose. If it's just one item that you're selling, you could do a single item. I did that over the weekend and that worked out really well. We'll click on the Stripe credit card because that's where we want to get the information from them, their credit card information. I'm going to bring this up here and that looks good. And I'm going to click on submit because I want to change the title of the submit button to something like order now. It looks okay. Also, because we are using Stripe, we have to enable Ajax form submission. So under, we're under settings, we're under general, and I'm going to click enable that. So that's good. Everything else looks good on here. I'm going to save that. And you see, we still need to enable Stripe payments, which we will do. So I'm going to say, okay. And we're going to go back to payments, click on Stripe, we need to enable this. And we can give it a description, choose where to send the Stripe payment receipt. We'll send it to the email of the person that ends up filling it out. And you could also do recurring subscriptions. So if it's a weekly thing or a monthly thing, you could do that as well. We're good with that. So we'll just click save and we can go back to the fields just to see how everything looks. I think that all looks pretty good. Great. We can go back to settings and you can also double check your notifications. So the notifications are the emails that get sent out and you can change this where it gets sent to. By default, it's the admin email of the website. You can leave that here, or you can also take that out and like put your actual email address in here. You can change the subject line because this is what will come up every time. You could even do, if you show smart tags, you could bring in a smart tag, which would be helpful. So in other words, instead of just having this new entry order form every time in the subject line, you can say new entry or new order colon, and then use their name. And then that way it's a little bit more specific each time. So it's, it's unique each time you get it. You, you can change all of this out as well if you want. And then in the message, you'll just bring in all the fields, but the notifications look good. So we're happy with that. The confirmation is when they order or when they place the order, then this is what they'll see. So you can either change this. Obviously you want to say thanks for your order. We'll be in touch with information shortly. You can also get really fancy and switch it out to send them to maybe a thank you page with the uh, information on what to expect now that they've sent in their order. But for this, we'll just keep it as the confirmation and we'll click save. And I think that that's really good. So now we can embed it. So they're saying, okay, well, where do you want to embed it? I like this because we can select an existing page. And I think I do have one that we can use be our services, or you could have created a new page and it will take you there. And they're telling us we can add a block up here, which is perfect, but I need to scroll down and find where I want to add that block. So yeah, I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on the add block button and I'm going to search for WP forms. If you don't see it, you can search for it. And this is the one we want. So we'll click on that and it brings that in, but we also want to click on it and bring in the order form that we were just creating. So I'm going to click on order form. It looks okay. I'll probably mess everything up, but for this tutorial, I think this looks pretty good. And then we can go up here to update this. And then now that we've updated it, we can preview it and see it in a new tab. Great. So now I have my services. So the cool thing about this is we are in test mode. Remember we went on in test mode. So you can put whatever you want in here. There are a list of numbers that you can test that Stripe will allow you to test. Like I know 42, just 424242 can do that. You can put any future date here. And then any CVC, which you can put here. And then you can put your name on the card, something like that. And then you definitely want to add the comment because that's what it's asking for. And then we can say order now. 
So then we see, thanks for your order, we'll be in touch with you shortly. And then they'll also get an email with the information. And then what's cool is then you can go to Stripe and you can see that it has gone through. So let me show you that real quick. And then you can come down here and say, let's view test data. And then when you do that, you see today we have a test item that we just did. You can even come up to payments to look at that and get the details of it. And you, you see up here, it's all test information. So backpack vacation that comes over that came from the description that we gave and everything looks good. So once you do that, once you go through the process, make sure everything looks good. Then you can go back into your WP forms to turn it on to live. So let me show you where we need to go with that. We're heading back over to our dashboard. We're going back to WP forms settings. And then we need to go back to payments area. And that's where we had it checked for test mode. So you can test everything. I like doing that because if it goes live and something's wrong, then I want to know about it before I lose payments. So now we can take it out of test mode, click save settings. And now that that's live, we can promote it, share it with anybody, and then it'll be real money. So people will actually put in their real credit card and everything like that. So I love how easy that was. If you're looking for something a little bit more detailed, like a membership site and accepting payments with the membership site, then make sure you watch this video next where I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up a membership site and accept payments for that. And thanks for watching.